partner Jake Elliott ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Throwing on the first play from scrimmage. Here's Burrow. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. Uh, he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Burrow. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. From the 43, here's a second and five. A uh, first carry here for Joe Mixon. He can't get him down. 20. He's still on his feet. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Joe Mixon, 43 yards. And the Bengals will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. And they'll accept that penalty. Now another shot here at the PAT. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he pushes way forward to about the 32. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and four. Hurts sets up to throw it. Man open left side is Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Hurts. It's caught. Smith. He's across midfield. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Throwing his hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. But put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. 
On second down, Swift. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They'll try and throw for it with Hertz. Flushed out right. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Eagles offense staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert. And along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. A tight one. 8 7 our score after one on EA Sports. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now Burrow down around his goal line. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. Some trickery. They fake the spike. And he slides to avoid the hit. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Well, I could spin this negatively as he just got back to the line of scrimmage. But when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. Fourth down, but Burrow stays put. They're going for it. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. So with their backs practically backed up against the goal line, <laughs> just why? why? Why did they do that? I'm taking it from the other perspective because I have zero answer about why. <laughs> How about Swift is hit and he coughs it up. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines. You got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. MP, 
Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And some space here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Back to Mixon on first down. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. 79 yards rushing for him now to this point. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, here's Mixon. Oh, good move. Oh, he sheds himself free. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles' 11. A big pickup of 38. 38 yards on the play. First down, Bengals. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals are able to move back in front. Zach Taylor's made the decision. They'll go for two here. They'll let Mixon try and run it in. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. On first and 10, it's Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. That is caught, it's the tight end Goddard. 
Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First and goal at the three-yard line. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Again, he'll drop to throw. This is caught. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll run with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of three on what should be the final play of the first half. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. They'll throw now on the final play. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there as time expires in the first half. And the Eagles have taken the lead on the final play of the first half. So they say no to the field goal try late in the half, and it winds up really paying off as they score on the final play. Yeah, a little bit of a gamble, but they had some foresight as well because they knew they were going to get the ball to start the third quarter. So they thought to themselves, if we score here, we can double up on back-to-back -back drives when we start the second half. Hertz will throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Eagles are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. At their own 16-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and 10. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver Brown. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On first and 10, it's Swift. And yeah, the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Ball at the 33, second and nine. He'll look to throw. 
And that's out to the flat for Swift. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Looking to throw. That is caught. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 42. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Back to the running game with Swift. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. At the 42-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 29-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. Touchdown! A.J. Brown, 28 yards. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And that is the definition of yards after catch. They go short on the pass, and the receiver does the rest. Seems so harmless, doesn't it? To throw it underneath, a short pass like that. But boy, it gets dangerous in the hands of the right receiver as he makes a move and takes it the distance. Elliott doing all the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Back to Mixon on second down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 146 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Once again, they run with Mixon. There he goes, right side. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 
A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. It was Josh Sweat who got him down on the defensive side. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. On third down, Mixon. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Give him three yards there as that will take us to fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. The type of game that he's having running the football, there was no doubt who they were giving the ball to. So why didn't they just go ahead and go after him? on defense, right? Yeah. If, if you know, on him. right? You know he's having that type of a game. Who else would you expect to get the football? I would have taken my chances and sold out defensively to stop him. And if anyone else picks it up, I tip my cap to him. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Here comes second down at five. Mix it up the middle. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. And his carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll give it to Mixon. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop him with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Mixon. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. There we go. The noise deafening. Fourth and goal. They'll run with Mixon. And he'll be caught behind the line of scrimmage at the three. They gave it to him in search of his third touchdown, but he's denied. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He'll drop this one off to Swift. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. 